Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen if you don't already know me and today we are doing this makeup. I wanted to do a quick crease because I've not done one in ages and I wanted to do like a new year kind of like big dramatic really glam full coverage like just the full works today basically and I am pre-filming this so if you're watching this it has been Christmas and it's nearly new year and yay so I'm so excited um any feedback please let me know but if you like it please like it and yeah I'll see you in the next clip with my bare face prepare yourself yay the first things that I've prepared are uh, I've like showered, washed my face, put on a sparkly top because this is for New Year, and I have one wet Real Technique sponge and then one dry one, which is going to be for powder. I just broke this. Okay, take two. I'm going to prep my eyelids. First of all, using the Eyelore Brow Luminizer, and this has like a matte and a shimmer end. And I'm going to start with the matte, and I might add a shimmer with powder later so I'm going to put this like right under me bruise and obviously pre getting ready you would have had an amazing fake tan obviously and I would have plucked my eyebrows but I'm not that prepared today this is the Maybelline anti eye eraser, blah 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 blah. <laughs> My powder of choice for today is the collection sheer loose powder. And other thing you would have done. I will do before New Year is remove this. I always burn my lips when I do it, like I leave the thing on for too long. Or it's, or it's not fun. And still my favourite palette at the moment, and probably what I'm going to use most of my colours, is the Makeup Revolution Flawless Fall, which looks like this. Oh, like it's beautiful. I want to try and do a quick crease because. I think they look amazing. I'm gonna go for dark colours with one of the shimmers on like a half cut crease or something. Yeah, I always try and do cut creases and I don't think they ever go particularly well, so I really wanna practice them and get good at them basically. So that is the plan. Okay, using a real techniques brush. This is Deluxe Crease brush, but I think it's really big and quite, I don't know. I'm just gonna double powder, so I'm gonna get the white from this palette. Literally, it's just white. And I like getting that under the brow for some reason. I don't know why I've been doing this recently. Then there's like um, these two nudes, which are like yellow and peach. I'm gonna mix them together. Okay, we're gonna go pinky and purpley straight away. So I'm using, this is dirty, don't judge me. This is a wet and wild crease brush and I got a pack of three and they were cheap and I'm gonna go in do a mixture of these two straight away let's go for a mixture and then just the lighter one and when they look kind of similar oh my god I think I just wheezed you go in with your other brush with no products on and just get the edges and just make sure that they're blended out. Using a for a crease brush, I'm going to go in with, oh, that was kind of the darkest purple in here, that's stupid. The dark purple maybe makes the red. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm going with the dark purple makes the brown instead. I didn't like that. And it looks like I'm going quite dark, but the last time I did this, my concealer completely covered the darker one, so I'm not being too shy because the concealer, like, covers it, covers it up a little bit. So, yeah, don't be, don't be afraid. Prev, 
brush. No extra. Right, let's just try it. So, I'm gonna go for like the cutting the crease part. I've used, I used this brush the other day. This is a Real Techniques brush and it is an accent brush and I used it on a cream um, powder but it was sort of a silvery color. Today, I want to do maybe the gold. So instead of using that base, I'm going to use concealer. Okay, I'm getting on the magnified side and I will try and stay in the shot as much as possible. I don't want to put the concealer over, I don't know what, was, a hard finish that sentence. I'm just going to go and try and make it sh like sharper. Oh, I know I don't want that much. I'm gonna let it dry. I always start like near my lash line. Cause I think you can always make it bigger, but you can make it smaller. For now that'll do. I'm getting an angled brush, being very careful. I'm gonna take the dark purple and the dark brown mix together. And I don't wanna like overdo it because I don't want it to look like a line. Obviously it's supposed to look like it's blended nicely. This is just a flat brush and I don't think it has a name. And, oh, I haven't decided what color. There's a pale gold and I'm gonna go into a dark gold. So. Use this one into this one. And then I might even go into this one and into a shimmery purple. We're gonna we'll decide. I guess the instruction for this part is pick a bunch of shimmers and make an ombre out of them. My new favourite brush is Spectrum BO4. I got it in my last Birch box. Good. And it's just like, it looks quite big, but it's very tapered, so I feel like you have a lot of control. I'm going to get the brown and the dark purple. And now just the brown. This is actually like black and gold, but it comes out pretty gold. So I'm gonna try it, a little bit of it. And now I guess I wait for it to dry and I hope for the best. That's one day of mascara done. I'm gonna do a few more, but it's New Year, so if you like fake eyelashes, put on a shit ton of fake eyelashes. Because the bigger, the sparklier, the better. Yeah. I'm just opening my Nip and Fab Soften Kale Fix Moisturizer. Again, I got this in a birch box and I put it under my makeup the other day, and I thought my makeup went on really nice. So this will. This is now like my under makeup. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, again because it looked good the other day, the Rimmel Fix and Protect SPF 25. 
but I have been using this for ages. However, on Sunday, we went out for dinner. Um, I put this one with my fingers instead of a brush. So, I'm wondering if that sort of like smoothed it out. These mixed together really well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC, and this is NW13, which is very pink. And then this is the Rimmel Match Perfection in Light Nude, which is a little bit dark. And I'm going to put them on an old mirror. And then I'm going to put it on with a damp blender. Under the eyes, I'm using an instant anti age eye razor, not much of it. So I'm going to highlight with something else after. And I cream contoured, and I'm pretty sure I cream blushed as well. This is the Model Co contour stick. And another coat of mascara. To highlight, this is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Okay, now we set with the Collection Powder. We're going to come back to the face in a minute, we are going to finish the eye. So back to the palette and this fluffy, big fluffy brush. I'm actually going to use this one, Dusky Pink. I can't remember in whose video but they said if you look, oh my god, up into your mirror, it's easier to get under there. Then with the brush that just had brown on it, I'm going to put brown and purple on it and get a in there. The Spectrum one, so the one I said is my favourite. I'm going to use that with no extra product to see if I can smoke the, this together. So it just stops looking from like a line to a bit more smudged. Yeah. One more upper mascara. Using a Spectrum A05 brush. A Benefit Lovely Face Powder. This is the matte. Give me some. Eyebrows. My favourite eyebrow angled brush is the Eye Heart Makeup. It's drying out, but it's the NYX Brunette Tame and Frame. Was that upside down? Bottom lash mascara. Lippy lippy loose. Oh my god, my camera just turned off and I was like, like I heard it and I've just checked the footage and you missed me talking about my lips. I think the brand is Sun Kissed and it's intense colour with vitamin E and I think I got it from Primark but I just, it's my favourite nude because it's not pink, it's like brown. Now we're on a highlighter, as you can tell hopefully, and I'm using a Real Techniques to apply mask pigment and this is called vanilla frosting and then I'm kind of spreading it with just a regular clean fluffy brush and it's not really spreading but it's I just love it now I'm just sort of like do you know what screw it let's go for it yeah that is it um I hope you liked it and if you've got any like makeup ideas or looks or anything that you want me to try and do or any tips on anything really I normally just say my base is like 
thing I don't enjoy doing because I don't feel like I've like nailed it yet. So yeah, any tips let me know and have an amazing new year and I'll see you in the new year, holy shit. Until then stay happy and healthy, bye.